I'm gonna take a little bit this morning to talk about that video that's going around of that motorcyclist that that T-boned another car when the car pulled out in front of him. I don't want to sit here and dissect it and go over every frame with you guys. I'm sure if anyone's ever seen it, they kind of made their own conclusions, especially other riders out there. I just want to talk about what I saw and what I think went went kind of wrong there. The video was released by his mother and the local police department up there as a way to um, educate some riders, educate some motorists about the dangers of uh, the road. And so that's why I'm doing it, because she wanted everyone to learn from it. So let's go ahead and learn a little bit from it. The one thing that really caught my eye at the very beginning and, and throughout the whole thing was that he was going really fast. Allegedly he was going 97 miles per hour, which is pretty damn fast with a lot of traffic. When you're going 97 miles per hour, you could see for yourself he had zero reaction time. He had enough to say whoa and slightly turn to left and then crash. Another thing I saw was that the car was not even paying attention to that motorcyclist. It just pulled out right in front of him. It wasn't even looking. And I read an article about it and Supposedly the uh, the driver said that he did not even see the motorcyclist and that he didn't even see the car behind him and didn't know that anyone was there until he got hit. Were they looking at their phone? Were they looking down the road that they're about to turn on? Were they just not paying attention? And caused for that whole thing was complacency on both the rider and the driver. The driver getting comfy in the car, relaxing, listening to music, doing whatever. The rider having a lot of fun on his bike, going super fast, just enjoying the ride, not focusing on any threats and dangers on the road. Overall, a very crappy situation for everyone. I'm, I really applaud the mother for wanting that video released to show that you know things do happen on the road. You only hear about it in the news afterwards. You never actually get to see it.